In August of 2005, Hurricane Katrina hit, causing over 1,800 fatalities. 70% of those people who died had an access and functional need. When it came to the way we plan and prepare and respond and recover, that we weren't thinking about underrepresented communities. This acted as a wake-up call. California leaned forward and recognized during all disasters there is a disproportionate impact. Whenever disasters strike, the individuals that get hit hardest are older adults, people with disabilities, anyone that would be considered to have an access or a functional need. To try and get out ahead of that issue, the governor created the Office of Access and Functional Needs and placed it within his Office of Emergency Services. Really with a twofold mission. One is to understand what are the needs that all Californians have before, during, and after disasters. And then two, once we've identified those needs, to then integrate them throughout every facet of the emergency management process. Emergency managers don't typically have lived experience with something like disability, which creates a disconnect. So they added that perspective to the table. And so one of the things that we've really worked to do is to ensure that everything we work on has the benefit of input and inclusion from California's whole community. We work to understand it, we work to integrate it, and we work to meet our mission of saving lives. These life-saving efforts involve collaboration. We couldn't do any of it without our partners, without our independent living centers, without our friends at the Council of Developmental Disabilities, without all of our many, many, many stakeholders throughout the state. This big 40 million plus state becomes a much smaller uh, community. And it becomes what our director would describe as a one team, one fight effort. California is uniquely positioned. We're the only state where the governor has, has placed a senior level executive to serve in this capacity. We're the only state that's got an Office of Access and Functional Needs built into its Office of Emergency Services. I think it comes down to leadership. The fact that this is a commitment, the fact that we have support, the fact that there's some actual teeth and budget and authority associated with the office means we're in a position to do something meaningful. For more information on the Office of Access and Functional Needs, visit news.caloes.ca.gov. I'm Brittany Peterson.